Guess what guys, my big chop scissors are here. Hey guys, it is Gabrielle Eichel and today I will be taking out my hair because I have a photo shoot and I have to go. But I really want to talk about this before I big chopped. And I finally have my date for my big chop and that is actually next week. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed and you click the bell to be notified whenever I post. So let's get started. I am looking down at my handy dandy notebook. You guys already know. I write all my notes in there. Um, so these are the things that I've learned throughout my transitioning process and I've already done a video on this. I've also done an ugly truth of going natural. Um, but I've learned some more things as I, you know, as you go, as time goes on, you, you're constantly learning and this whole experience has been a learning experience. So the first thing I wanted to say was to detangle carefully. Detangling is the hardest part of transitioning, I believe. And I actually just did a video showing how I detangled. 17 months later, I learned the best way to detangle my hair. I wish I would have learned it sooner, but I really have been able to cut down on the time that it takes to detangle my hair. And I'm really thankful for that, even though it's right before I'm about to big chop. Um, so if you're interested in that, please check that out. I will leave it up in the cards above and also in the description box below. Oh, also with detangling. You want to make sure that you're using something that is detangling friendly for transitioning hair. And a lot of people have told me to use like the Demon brush, Tangle Teaser, or the Easy Brush. Those don't work for my hair. Those do not work for relaxed hair with natural hair attached to it. So I, I actually bought, I have two Tangle Teasers actually. I have a Denman brush and I have an Easy Brush. I put those to the side and I will be waiting until I actually big chop to use them. Right now I just use my pick from Cantu and then my wide tooth comb. It's a it's called a shower comb from Conair. So I use those two to detangle my hair. Along with that, like I said, people told me that I should try those things out. You can take advice from people, but ultimately it's what works for you, what works for your hair. So just keep that in mind. All right, next is researching. So when you're transitioning, this goes back to this first point too, it's all up to you and what you want. So I would do a lot of research on big chops versus transitioning, if transitioning will work for your lifestyle because it is a lot of work. Yesterday, my wash day was like 10 hours long including um, deep conditioning. I let that sit in for like two hours, but it's, it's, it's a process. And if you're doing a long-term transition like I did, then you really have to set a day aside for wash day. So sometimes big, chop can be, big chopping can be easier because you're just getting rid of your relaxed ends and you don't have the struggle of experiencing both textures together so that's definitely a point that needs to be explained more that you should definitely take the time to research and see which best fits your lifestyle another thing is to find a go-to style and my go-to style was braid out <laughs> this is what i'm doing right now like i knew i can do a perfect braid out if i do it if i do it like this and if you have not seen that video, I will also leave that in the cards above and the description box below. I like to do a corn roll down the back of my hair so that the braid out can be defined and it looks all like one texture. If I do it the other way with just like doing braids, like single braids throughout my hair, it doesn't look right. And I'll show you a picture of that. I'll leave it to that side. <laughs> But yes, the style that I enjoyed wearing, and I know it looked nice on me because I used to do braid outs on my hair all the time before I even went natural. Um, but finding a good style, and even if it's a protective style, I did a lot of protective styles on my own hair, 
And if you're interested in that, I will leave a link to the playlist up above and in the description box below. If you are more comfortable with doing protective styles and letting that kind of hide your hair so that you don't have to do as much work, that works perfectly fine too. I did do a mixture of protective styles and wearing my hair like this. The next thing is, oh, to research return policies of different stores. So I didn't know that Target, they basically take anything back. So I tried the TPH line by Taraji P. Henson and I did not really like it for my hair. So I went to Target and I returned it. And I already used it and they still took it. So um, I do buy a lot of my hair products from Target now that I know that I can return it there if I don't like it or if it doesn't work for my hair and they don't even ask any questions about it so that's really cool so if you do have um, a store that you use to buy your your natural hair products make sure you research their return policy that is a big thing because learning what works for your hair is trial and error so if something doesn't work you don't want to keep it if it's if you know it's not working for your hair so that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing that I have, and it kind of ties in with one of the first few that I said, but it just says prepare for a long journey. Um, this is a full time commitment. Like I said before, you need to set aside a day or at least half a day for a wash day. And it takes a lot of patience. So you, you need to let go of your expectations. You're not going to wake up with the best hair every single day. I definitely had some bad hair days and you know what? You live and you learn. You find that this style doesn't work for you. You need to do certain things. You need to do certain things to your hair when you go to sleep to make it look a certain way in the morning when you go to work. That's why this COVID has really blessed me because I have not been doing my hair every day. I have not been doing my hair that would be presentable for work every day. And I really appreciate being home all the time because I don't have to look presentable. I just have to do my job. So the next thing is you want to pick a regimen or a hair routine that you follow and you're consistent with on a day-to-day -day or weekly basis, however your hair needs. Um, when you do that, it just puts you in a routine so you like you know like my wash days are either Friday night or Saturday if I'm tired Friday I won't do it Friday you're never supposed to do your hair when you're tired um, but otherwise it'll be Saturday and I know like don't ask me what I'm doing on Saturday because I'm washing my hair unless I have a protective style in <laughs> um, but it just puts you in that routine of doing your hair um, I would say at minimum you need to be washing your hair once a week because our hair is so dry and it needs the moisture especially now while it's growing in fresh and you know having your relaxed ends relaxed hair doesn't really like water but our natural hair loves water so we need to be mindful of that and we're making sure that our hair is moisturized and just learning our hair paying attention to our hair and doing what our hair needs for us to do so if my hair is moist if my hair doesn't feel moisturized in the middle of the week I would use like water or something to or like leave-in or something to help moisturize it going back to detangling you need to make sure that your hair, and my hair is actually still wet. Ugh. When you detangle your hair, you wanna make sure you're doing it on wet hair, not dry hair, because detangling dry hair will lead to breakage. And our hair, at least my hair, is like really soft when it is wet and you have like your leave-in conditioner or moisturizer in it, so it's easier for me to tang detangle. I found, once again, it's late in the game, but I found it best to air dry my hair. I apply my leave-in, I twist it up and let it air dry for a little bit in a stretch state so that once it's time to blow dry my hair, 
it makes it a lot easier and once again I will be leaving that detangling video up in the cards above and also in the description box below the next point that I wanted to make is to make sure your hair is healthy this kind of goes in with the routine making a regimen um, but you want to make sure that you are treating your relax you're, you're treating your hair like it's already fully natural so the products that you use for your relaxed hair may not be suitable for your natural hair and so learning that early on makes a huge difference let me go back a little bit so yes you can i when i first went natural i continued using the products that i was using when i was relaxed because i was already using natural products um but and if you do have like relax relaxed products I will continue to use that so until the bottle is full or whatever since when, you, since when you first go natural you know you have more relaxed hair anyway so I will continue using that bottle I wouldn't throw it away per se but you know as you go on you need to treat your your head like it's already natural when I say taking care of your hair as if it's already natural one thing I did not really do is take care of my relaxed hair so I made the choice of going natural I just thought that since it's relaxed it's gonna be cut off eventually that I don't really have to worry about it but if you have split ends on your relaxed hair they're gonna make its way up to your natural hair so you want to make sure that you are still taking care of your ends because they're the oldest part of your hair and they also are connected to your natural hair so whatever is going on down here eventually over time it could travel all the way up so just be careful with that and then we all know satin pillowcases are our best friend satin bonnets and satin scarves are all great ways to take care of our hair and make sure it's healthy another big thing when it relates to having healthy hair is you don't want to use a towel to dry your hair I actually use a t-shirt but they also have uh, microfiber towels that are specifically designed for drying a natural hair so I would invest in one of those and I'm actually going to do that soon but if you don't want to a t-shirt is perfectly fine that is what I've been using this whole time another one is co-washing there are different alternatives to shampooing your hair since our hair is dry co-washing I actually did a co-wash last week and it made my wash day so much easier you don't want to do them all the time because you're gonna have product buildup and your scalp needs to breathe so you do want to make sure you're clarifying your scalp as well but it's nice to be able to switch between different things that are more moisturizing than a shampoo and then the last thing that I have here is to be mentally prepared and it kind of ties in with what I said earlier but you have to have a strong mind to if you're if you're a long-term transitioner at least you do have to be mentally prepared for this because there were some days I'm like ah. I cry I didn't want to do this it was hard it took too long I wanted to do other things and it just took up too much of my time but you know I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel my days my wash days are actually a little bit easier now that I know what I'm doing um, so I would definitely say just be mentally prepared and then also one last thing that I want to add is to take advice from people who have transitioned long term but you know you don't want to say oh just because they did this that it's going to 100% work for my hair that's not always true you do want to take advice because they've been through it but at the same time all of our hair is different so just keep that in mind as well so this is the final look I love doing braid outs this is definitely my go-to style and I know that they're gonna come out nice every time if I stick to what I know 
So I hope you guys enjoyed kind of watching me take my braids out and also explaining to you some of the things that I've learned throughout my transition. I have been transitioning for 17 months and I am doing the big chop next week. So I am so excited, so, so, so excited to finally make the next step. And I, oh, this is, oh, 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 I almost forgot, I almost forgot. This is one thing I definitely wanted to touch on. Do what works for you. If someone tells you you need to cut your hair, don't listen to them. If you don't want to cut your hair, don't cut your hair. As long as you're taking care of your hair, which I think I am, or I have been doing, then guess what? It doesn't matter what he says, she says, it's what you think and what you feel. You will know when you're ready to big chop. And that is what I wanted to say. I, a few weeks ago, I was like, I'm ready. It just, it just hit me. I'm like, I can do this. My hair is long enough that I feel comfortable. I don't really care if someone's telling me to book shop. I will tell, a lot of people have actually been telling me that in my comments. And you know what I will say? I appreciate your concern about my hair, but I will big shop on my time. So, yes. <laughs> How could I forget that? I almost forgot the mo that that is one of the most important things. It's what you want. It's your hair. It's not their hair. They're not going to be taking care of it once you big chop. It's you. You have to take care of it. You have to maintain it. You have to wash it, deep condition it. You have to style it and you have to wear it. So if you don't think you'll feel comfortable with short hair, transition long term. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with transitioning long term so with that being said that concludes the video and i hope you guys really enjoyed this and if you're transitioning i hope you took something away from this video if you are transitioning let me know in the comments below how long you've been transitioning and if you have any specific questions for me that i can help out on thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it also click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when i post and until my next video which might be my big chop <laughs> i'll see you guys later bye oh did you guys want to see my outfit I'll, I'll probably have pictures by the time this goes up but i just don't want to show you my outfit for the video so this is a cute dress I got from Shein actually, and I have another Shein haul to upload. But the dress is so pretty, I'm gonna have to stand on my bed so you can see the whole thing. Guess what guys, my big chop scissors are here. You guys want a sneak peek? Oh, it's sealed. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>